Let's groove tonight. We gonna dynamite. See what I did there? That wasn't very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just the... <laughs> it's a great day to play everybody welcome on into the channel yeah oh dude you should have told me i would have done the thing you were that's why i did it because yeah, you were doing yeah. this thing whether it's your first time here you are rejoining us uh, thank you for being here with us today you are loved appreciated always welcome here in this channel and you are enough today we're back with some SB19. It's been a hot minute since we've done some SB19. This was a request via our live streams, which you guys can check out Saturdays at noon central time. And before we get in, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can follow along with our live streams. You can check out all of our websites. We have a brand new studio, a recording studio, a podcast studio. We're too legit to quit now. So uh, make sure you guys check everything out. But without further ado, let's go with where you at. Eighty squigglies on it. Yeah, these are coming back now. It's like grease. <laughs> Who are you gonna call? It is grease. With a pocket watch. It, it reminds me of more of that uh, with Travolta. That's grease, dude. No, no. Not yes. Are you talking about Saturday Night Lights? No. Grease is the one with John Travolta. Yeah, but it's a different one. Okay. Okay, okay, so yeah, maybe, maybe Grease now. It's probably Grease, yeah. Okay. That's all right. I'll forgive you. Very like Michael Jackson intro, though. Wow. wow. How? How how has this not been on like pop radio yet? How? I don't listen to pop radio, so it could be. I'd have no idea. No, it's it's definitely not. Okay. Um because like I'll I pay attention to the playlist just to kind of like keep in the mm -hmm. know with kind of like what's going on and stuff like that. Be because okay, so somebody said in the chat before we started this that they thought that this had kind of a very dynamite vibe. And I and I get it. A little bit. A little bit. Not really. I more I more think though, like it's just an error, right? It's just kind of that whole disco esque yeah. kind yeah. of feel. But man, some of those sounds in there and like the the mixture between like the video and bringing like old school and new school together, not just in the video, but yeah. with the soundscapes is wow. I think I I honestly think that every single time uh, a band from Korea or a band from anywhere else gets is about to get radio play, like the the guy hits play and then like Justin Bieber comes and is like, no, no one can hear their stuff. <laughs> I mean, oh, they won't listen to me anymore. Right, because like this is this is a uh, uh, they're from the Philippines, um, so they're a P-pop group. Okay, but but like, what is crazy to me is like the only reason, and 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 it shouldn't be this way, right? But as soon as one of them makes an English song, like you're saying, it's like all of a sudden those songs blow up. Yeah. You know, I think of um, Aespa made one recently and I was like walking through the store the other day and it was playing. Yeah. And I was yeah. like shocked because you just don't, you don't hear it, you don't see it a lot. And like the production value, the the talent is so good. There there are people wh who they don't want to hear it because it's from somewhere else. And right. those are the extremely yeah. close-minded people. Right. But they're, they're actually a rarity. I think the real reason is because when something's in the language that, that you connect with the most you connect with it the most yeah 
You know, so the majority of Americans speak English. Right. And they can immediately connect to a song instead of having to figure out how they can connect to it. Like right. the way that you found BTS, where you found a way to connect to it by looking through their lyrics and connecting yeah. to the guys and stuff like that. But when it's immediate, yeah. it's it's a lot easier. And for you're right. It is hard to do. Like I did that because I was watching music videos. And right. so I could see the lyrics in real time and I could kind of see what was going right. on. And yeah, no, I completely understand. But man, this is... Woo. Wow. Louise, that bass line just is like really just hitting me right in the all the parts that are good. And they found a way to connect it between like because I don't it's very, very subtle, but like each genre, each generation, right? Because like, we kind of like started it, with yeah. it, it was like 50s, 60s, and it went to kind of like 60s, 70s. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then it kind of came up to I can't tell how new this is, but it's supposed to be like 80s, 90s, because you have like the arcade stuff in the background, mm -hmm. right? And that's when those or are really future. big. Or future. Is this the future? Or future. But it feel it feels like very, very 80s, 90s to me. Yeah. But like they're finding a way to make that that baseline is the one that's going Constant. through all of them. Right, right, right. But then each section Has. had a little bit of different musicality mm -hmm. to it to give it a different section. And like how cool is it to do that, but still have a cohesive yeah. song mm -hmm. in this? Like I get I, wow. I you can tell that they put a lot of time and effort into making sure this song was as great as it could as be. As it could possibly be. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow, man. Yeah, especially that shirt. <laughs> They knew they knew this was Oh. Ah, where are you at? I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Well, it. they, you could tell, like, they they were like, all right, well, we're, we're going to make a song in English. We're going to try to capture the hearts and souls of, of the Americans. And they, like, were like, let's make this as best as we can. Uh, and then also, if you ever catch me laying on, on my tummy on a bed, reading a book, rubbing my feet together. <sighs> I'll just sit down next to you and do the same thing. <laughs> like, just I, kick them back and forth. 
I, I think we're in the same boat where I'm too old to, to like even think that that's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think it, I wouldn't be able to breathe. This was incredible. It, yeah. So a couple things. Anytime that a song can get you moving immediately, yeah. you know Ooh. you have something special. Because if you, yeah. it's all about that first like, 15, 20 seconds of the song to drag you in. And it did that. The second thing, though, is that how, like, you just hit it on the head. It's like they hit this song, like, aiming for American radios. And who knows? It still might be, like, take off there at some point, right? right? But it's like they do it so much better than what most American companies do. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, because there's a level of talent that I think is required when you have that many people, like, all those vocals, all those harmonies, all those things that are mm -hmm. going on. Like, there's so much more talent that's required than just one person or yeah. when you get some of these bands that don't have the vocal uh, capabilities and it's just incredible there's this song has the the drums were a straight beat just doom, yeah chap, doom, yep. chap. and uh i've been playing with a lot of straight beats lately because mm -hmm. i there's a this there's this huge value in straight beats that just like they always make you move right always yep. and like drummers don't like to play them because it doesn't take much right. doesn't take much to play them but like they're so good. Right. But They're that's so what gets good. people moving. Yeah. Did you also, I, I don't know if you noticed this, but in the in the back, they it, there was a pad back there, but it wasn't a musical pad. It was like, it was like the sound of like a crowd talking. Mm -mm. I don't know if you could notice it and it showed up a little bit more at the end, but um, I just want to, here, I'm going to go. I'm gonna I go, was moving, dude. I'm going to go. It was really, really subtle, which is, you know, pad's not supposed to necessarily be visible, but it was around this point. Do you hear it? Oh yeah. It's not music. There, there's like, there's like non-musical like stuff, but it was yeah. almost throughout the entire song. It just got louder as the song went on yeah. towards the end. Like they to were using that, right? And yeah. and to kind of give it the air, like it, it worked really well with the music video because it made you feel like you were part of like in mm -hmm. that ambiance. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that you were in the crowd. And I didn't notice it until the very, very end. And um. Something I took away in one of my classes recently, they said like, the the way that you know that it's a good pad is you shouldn't know a pad is there until you hit the mute button. Oh, gotcha. And yeah, yeah. so like, and that was like, it was so hidden in there, but like in a couple of spots, it's like, man, that was, it's so cool that they had that there the entire time and you just barely noticed yeah. it. And it just adds that little, <laughs> oomph, you know, man. very cool. I like this one. This is a long video, but I think it was deserved. This was, uh, yeah. this is really, really good. So I hope that you guys, I hope that uh, that you guys enjoyed this as well. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you already haven't, check out all of our stuff. There's so many things in the descriptions. There's so many things that we're doing. Check them all out. Like them all. Subscribe to them all. Follow on them all. And if nobody told you that they love you today, don't forget that we love you. You're appreciated. Always welcome here in this channel. And you are enough. And last but certainly not least, it was a great day to play. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.